In this tutorial, we are going to walk you through how to add a new contact to the system. We are also going to show you how to export contact lists, email addresses, and how contacts can automatically be added to your account as you perform different actions throughout the website. To add a new contact to the account, you can click Actions at the top and then click on Add New Contact. This will bring you to a page that will allow you to enter in all the contacts details. At the top, you can enter in the contacts basic information. Once you enter in the contacts basic information, you are able to check off different options for the type of contact. Please note you can check off as many options as you want for each contact. Scrolling down even further, you can check off whether or not this contact is on your denied list. Please note that if you check off the do not email field, this contact will not be visible in the contact section of your account unless you have the proper filter selected. To show do not email contacts in this section, please make sure you have show do not email contacts checked off in your filters. Towards the bottom of the page, you are able to enter in organization information if this contact is affiliated with an organization that works with your shelter or rescue. Even further down, you are able to associate an activity with a contact. For example, if this contact volunteered and walked a dog, you can say, this person volunteered for an event or had a volunteer meeting. And from there, you can say that this person walked a specific animal. You're also able to add a specific pet to the activity by clicking on Add Pets to this activity and then choosing the pet from the drop-down menu. Once you've entered in the information for the contact, please click Create Contact and the contact will be added to the system. Aside from adding a contact manually, contacts will also automatically be added when someone fills out an application and submits it through the site, or when you process an adoption in the system. Please note that there are certain special fields that will also automatically be checked off as contact types when certain things happen. For example, if you add a veterinarian when you're creating a new medical record for a pet, that veterinarian will actually get added to your contact section and will be checked off as a veterinarian type of contact. Please note that you're also able to go into a contact and check off this field and the contact will be added to the veterinarian dropdown when you add a new medical record. A couple other contact types which get checked off automatically are adopter or foster which will get checked off if you process an adoption or a foster in the system. And potential adopter and potential foster will automatically be checked off when someone applies and fills out either your adoption or foster forms. One other thing that is important to note is that if you are keeping a do not adopt list, you will want to check off do not adopt and you will want to add them to the denied list down here as well. When you do this, we put a note on their application record in the system automatically, letting you know that this applicant is on your denied list. One other thing that's important to note is that any time you process an adoption or foster in the system, we will automatically create an activity for that contact within their contact edit page. This activity will show the date the adoption was finalized, and if you click on the drop-down, it will show you the pet and the description of the pet that was adopted or fostered. If you would like to remove the activity, you can just click Manage and then select Remove. Once you have a contact added to the system, you are able to use the search at the top of the Manage Contacts Index to search by contact name, last name, email, or phone number. You are also able to use the filters to sort by type of contact or any other field you see listed here. For example, if you wanted to quickly bring up a list of all your adopters, you would be able to select type of contact and then choose adopter from the list. This will bring up a list of all adopter contacts. Just like with other sections of the Petstablish system, to get a quick report of all your contacts that you filtered, you can click Actions at the top of the page and then click Export Filtered Data, which will give you a downloadable Excel file of all contacts that are currently filtered. Next, we are going to show you how to export contact email addresses and message contacts directly from within the Petstablish system. To get a list of all contact email addresses, you can filter through the list of data you are looking for, 
check off select all click actions at the top and then select export selected this will bring you to a page that lists all email addresses of the contacts you selected also if you want to export all of the email addresses for all of the contacts that you filtered you can click actions and then select export all and that will bring you to a page of all contacts that you just filtered for for example if you wanted an email list of all your adopters you can click on show filters select adopter from the list and then click actions export all this will export a list of email addresses for all your adopters to send a message through the Petstablish software there are a few ways to do this one way is to click manage next to the contact you would like to send the message to and hit send message from there you can confirm the contacts email address where the email is being sent you could enter in the email address that you want the reply to go to and you could also enter in if you want to CC any staff member or anyone else on the email from there you can enter in the subject and text and hit send message you will notice at the top you also have the option to select a previously saved email template you are able to create new templates under organization settings in the email template section of your account another way to send a message through the system is by checking off one or more contacts clicking bulk actions at the top and then clicking on send message this will bring up the same modal which will let you know who the email is being sent to and will let you enter in all the other corresponding fields now that you know how to send a message we are going to show you how to create a contact and then add them to the staff section of your account the best way to do this is by clicking on manage next to the contact you want to add as a staff member and then clicking on convert to staff when you do this we will send that staff member an email letting them know that they have been added to your account if you have the gold version of our software you will be asked to select a group to place the new staff member in please note that checking off a contact as a staff member here will not add them as a staff to your account this concludes the tutorial for adding contacts to your account and messaging and filtering through contacts once they're added.